Shane McGowan was a British-born Irish singer-songwriter, musician and poet best known as the lead vocalist and primary lyricist of Celtic punk band The Pogues. He also produced solo material and collaborated with artists including Joe Strummer, Nick Cave, Sinead O'Connor, and Cruican. Born, December 25, 1957, Pembury, United Kingdom. Died, November 30, 2023, age 65 years, Dublin, Ireland. Spouse, Victoria Mary Clark, M., 2018-2023. Music groups, The Pogues, Shane McGowan and The Popes, 1992-2005, The Nips, 1976-1981. Parents, Therese McGowan, Maurice McGowan. Siblings, Siobhan McGowan. Shane McGowan, net worth around £4.3 million. Early life. McGowan was born on December 25, 1957 in Pembury, Kent, the son of Irish parents who were visiting relatives in England at the time of his birth. McGowan spent his early childhood in Tipperary, Ireland. His younger sister, Siobhan McGowan, was born in 1963, she later became a journalist, writer, and songwriter. McGowan and his family moved to England when he was aged six and a half. His father, Maurice, from a middle-class background in Dublin, worked in the offices of department store CNA. His mother, Therese, from Tipperary, worked as a typist at a convent, having previously been a singer, traditional Irish dancer, and model. McGowan lived in many parts of southeast England such as Brighton, London, and the home counties, and attended an English public school. His father encouraged his precocious interest in literature. By age 11, McGowan was reading authors including Fyodor Dostoevsky, John Steinbeck, and James Joyce. At 13, he was among the winners of a literary contest sponsored by the Daily Mirror. In 1971, he left Homewood House Preparatory School in Langton Green, Kent, with a literature scholarship for Westminster School. Found in possession of drugs, he was expelled in his second year. At age 17, he spent six months in a psychiatric hospital due to drug addiction, while there, he was also diagnosed with acute situational anxiety. Briefly enrolled at St. Martin's School of Art, he worked at the Roxoff Record Shop in central London, and started a punk fanzine under the pseudonym Shane O'Hooligan. He was first publicly noted in 1976 at a concert by London punk rock band The Clash, where his earlobe was damaged by future Imodet's bassist Jane Crockford. A photographer took a picture of him covered in blood, which was reported in the music paper NME with the headline Cannibalism at Clash Gig. Shortly after this, he and bassist Shin Bradley formed the punk band The Nipple Erectors, later known as The Nips. Career 1982-1991, Leading the Pogues McGowan drew upon his Irish heritage when founding the Pogues and changed his early punk style for a more traditional sound with tutoring from his extended family. Many of his songs were influenced by Irish nationalism, Irish history, the experiences of the Irish diaspora, particularly in England and the United States, and London life in general. These influences were documented in the biography Rake at the Gates of Hell, Shane McGowan in Context. He often cited the 19th-century Irish poet James Clarence Mangan and playwright Brendan Behan as influences. The Pogues' most critically acclaimed album was If I Should Fall From Grace With God, 1988, which also marked the high point of the band's commercial success. Between 1985 and 1987, McGowan co-wrote Fairy Tale of New York, which he performed with Kirsty McColl and remains a perennial Christmas favorite. In 2004, 2005 and 2006, it was voted favorite Christmas song in a poll by music video channel VH1. Other notable songs he performed with the Pogas include Dirty Old Town, Sally MacLeanan and The Irish Rover, featuring the Dubliners. In the following years, McGowan and the Pogas released several albums. In 1988, he co-wrote Streets of Sorrow slash Birmingham Six, a song by the Pogas, which proved highly controversial due to its support of the Birmingham Six, six men wrongly convicted of the 1974 Birmingham pub bombings but still serving prison sentences for the bombings at the time, and was banned on British commercial TV and radio. Personal Life On November 26, 2018, after a decades-long relationship and subsequent 11-year engagement, McGowan married Irish journalist Victoria Mary Clark in Copenhagen. They lived in Dublin. 
Magellan was a Roman Catholic, calling himself a free-thinking religious fanatic who also prayed to the Buddha. As an adolescent, he considered the priesthood 